So even though as you can hear from my voice, I'm not feeling that well. I'm doing my absolute best to give you guys a quick update on price action of Bitcoin because the price of Bitcoin is still below this key line of resistance, which is around 25,000. Yes, because we know once we flip that into support, the best case scenario for Bitcoin could be playing out. But if we get rejected again around this 25,000 range if price fails to flip that into proper support. In that case, even the worst case scenario should not be ignored. And this is exactly what we are going to talk in today's video. So before I jump into the content, please guys destroy that like button. And for those individuals watching this for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Now, starting this year in a weekly time frame, as you can see, I am going to keep it very simple. This one here is the best case scenario. So before we talk about the worst case, let's look at the best case scenario for Bitcoin. We have found out that in the past price action, since 2017, each and every time the price of Bitcoin has tested the support from this rising trend line. After that, we have seen a very, very impulsive movement playing out here in price action of Bitcoin. And in our case, when the price of Bitcoin was clearly in a downtrend, we came exactly at this rising trend line, which was around 15,000, 15,500 range. And since then, you can see we are flipping this trend from bearish to bullish. So what I'm trying to show you here. If this exact scenario is going to play out just like here from the past price action after finding support at this rising trend line price getting attracted towards the 0.5 Fibonacci line to 0.600 Fibonacci line before again turning bearish so in our case if this is going to happen one more time price from this bearish trend turning bullish getting attracted towards this 0.5 to 0.600 Fibonacci line before turning bearish again here in this manner we are absolutely fine because in that case you can see the price of bitcoin could be getting attracted not just only 30,000 but even around 40,000 range because we know beside this one example even the stan weinstein ideal buy scenario for bitcoin you can see price after testing the support from this 30 week exponential moving average started showing this bullishness we even overcame the resistance which we had around 24,000 but we need to overcome another resistance which is this 25,000 range yes this 25,000 needs to be broken at any cost if you are expecting the price of bitcoin to continue this uptrend because according to this idle buy investor from stan weinstein you can see price after some bullishness comes back to reach this key line before again continuing this uptrend so in our case if this is what unfolding then we know we could be again retesting this key line before turning bullish and that is one another reason why in the media short term in the media short term even if the price gets rejected around 25,000 as long as we remain over this 22,000 to 23,000 for the media short term we are still expecting the price of bitcoin to continue this uptrend but in a bigger picture the most important support for bitcoin is 20,000 yes 20,000 must remain and as long as we remain over 20,000 any sort of a shakeout should not bother us that much because we are still expecting the price to continue this uptrend towards our next area of confluence which is between 28,000 to 30,000 range but what in case if this price gets rejected I mean price gets rejected after reaching around 28,000 sorry 25,000 and even break the support which you have around 20,000 range in that case I have already showed you yesterday on my video the psychology of market cycle should be actually taken into consideration yes guys because you can see after the double top after price breaking out of this falling wedge we came around the top of this falling wedge just like here in our case even in this example what does the price likes to do the price likes to form this double top before continuing this downtrend so in our case since this year also could be forming another double top if the price fails to flip this 25,000 in the support in that case we have to be careful because you can see getting rejection around 25,000 means the price could be again continuing this downtrend here in this manner forming an actual accumulation phase before starting a new market phase and not just only because of the psychology of a market cycle even according to this capitulation phase indicator the price of bitcoin is still below this one of the most important resistance line yes the resistance line from this 200 weekly moving average and also the long term falling trend line yes this long-term falling trend line and this 200 weekly moving average needs to be flipped into support if we are expecting the price of bitcoin to continue this uptrend here in this manner because if we fail to break out of this key line of resistance fail to break out of this 200 weekly moving average 
in that case guys you can see we will be focusing more on the psychology of a market cycle before expecting any sort of a mark of this type of scenario to play out for bitcoin because we know beside this best case scenario beside this worst case scenario for bitcoin for now now if you look at this price structure you can see the price of bitcoin is forming a broadening wedge yes in a four hour time frame the price of bitcoin right now is forming this broadening wedge which is indicating once we flip the upper line resistance which has been rejecting the price again and again you can see once we flip this upper line into proper support which is going to be above 25,000, then we are expecting this trend to continue just like as shown here in an example and yesterday we found out if this trend is going to continue here to the upside then the upcoming target according to this broadening wage is going to be somewhere between 28,000 to 30,000 and so this here is definitely going to be looked as our potential upcoming target once we flip this key line of resistance into proper support and we know beside this example even if we look at this price structure here like this we even found out that in a daily time frame this pullback what we had around 21,000 could be looked as a right shoulder formation and according to this inverted end shoulder if you look at this formation here like this you can see the price has already broken the neckline area yes from this inverse head and shoulder the neckline looks like it has already been broken this line was a very important line of resistance but right now the price of bitcoin looks like it is above it so for this to play out as an inverse head and shoulder for actual confirmation we need the price also to flip this upper line resistance into proper support because by doing that we know the price is now ready for this new impulsive movement also according to this inverse head and shoulder and we found out if this trend continuation is going to happen then according to the fibonacci extension line if this trend here is going to continue this uptrend like this right according to the fibonacci extension line we found out this line the 100 percent fibonacci extension line is also lining around 28,000 range so that's why we say 28,000 to 30,000 the 100 percent fibonacci extension line is going to be looked as our potential upcoming target but for this upcoming target to play out we need to overcome the resistance around 25,000 and this 25,000 is also the resistance from this 0.5 fibonacci line according to this fibonacci extension line but in the media short term let's suppose if the price instead of this bullishness right starts showing this corrective movement here in this manner you can see in that case this rising trend line should be considered as next support for bitcoin yes this line here this rising trend line is going to be considered as a next line of support because even if you look at this exact scenario here in a smaller time frame you can see here the price in that case could be turning bearish bearish because in that case we will be breaking the key line of support yes this rising trend line here in the media short term this is hourly time frame please do not forget right this here is a line of support for us in the media short term but once we can flip that into proper support then we could be expecting the price of bitcoin to again continue this uptrend here in this manner but if we fail right but if we fail to hold the support line then what are we expecting we could be forming another very similar movement just like here guys price showing this uptrend but you can see once this key line of support gets broken we came back to the area from where we started showing this bullishness right so in our case if this is going to play out i mean the very scenario for the media short term is going to play out then we have to be careful because in that case you can see we could be coming back to test the support around this 22,000. so this is the worst case in the media short term but as long as we remain over 20,000 in a bigger picture this kind of shakeout should not be bothering us that much so this is what i want you guys to take into consideration in the media short term we want the price to break out at 25,000 at any cost because if you do that then this best case scenario 
is what we will be considering. But if we fail, if we get rejected again and again to break out of this 25,000, then in that case, we will be also focusing on this psychology of market cycle and also the capitulation phase scenario for Bitcoin. So these were some of the quick updates that I wanted to share with you in today's video. If you enjoyed my work, then please destroy the like button. And for those individual watching for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Now, by saying this, I'm signing out. My name is Anoop. Bye-bye.